right. All right, guys, bear with me because this benefits you. Yes, it's a little bit of a promotion before each video for a minute, but Sarah Monic wanted to partner up with me and uh, give away some gear, which I think is great. They're great over there. First off, uh, the rules. Let me, let me, I'll show you what I got first. They sent over the Sarah Monic Super Cardioid shotgun microphone, the V Mic 5 Pro. This is a really nice freaking on camera microphone. You'll see a lot about this in the video because when I do the video for this mic, I'll also announce who won this microphone. So it'll be gently used one time and then off to you if you win. Then we've got the Soundbird V1 condenser shotgun microphone. This thing is phantom powered or battery powered. Going to do a video on this as well. And then give it away, Anthony Kiedis. Now, currently I'm using the Soundbird T3 from Ceramonic. This is my keeper shotgun mic. I really enjoy this microphone. So T3, Soundbird, Soundbird V1. We don't know what it sounds like yet, but we will. But we're going to give away both of these, both of these mics from Ceramonic. And, uh, you know, you're, you're, you could win one. Here's the rules. All you have to do to be entered to win one of these two microphones is to share your favorite obscure mics video on social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Share that. You could even do TikTok, I guess, but you got to tag me. I've got to see that I've been tagged. I got to see whose name I need to enter into the drawing and we will give these microphones away very soon in a video. I just want to get enough people involved in the giveaway to really, you know, make it a bit of a lottery, just a bit. So share your favorite obscure mics video on social media. You'll be entered to win one of these two mics. If you want to let it be known which one you prefer, go ahead. I'll keep that in mind. Let's get on to the video. What is up, obscure mic people? Bark coming at you with another handheld dynamic microphone. And I do got to say, I think it is of the obscure variety. I really do. I'm gathering some stuff here to show you. I'm not the most professional. We know that. We know that. Anyways, Ceramonic SRMV58 dynamic cardioid handheld dynamic microphone let's take a look at it real quick the microphone comes with an xlr two quarter inch jack 10 comes with a nice beefy clip with a 5 8 to 3 8 inch stand adapter and the microphone is all metal built like an absolute tank a little bit of gold trim and it comes with a really nice leather carrying pouch that's super thick and super squishy it's like the nicest handheld dynamic pouch I have probably ever seen in my life. And that, that goes for something, man. That's a good accessory. These are, I don't love quarter inch, you know, stuff because at Ceramonic, I'll tell you their cables are pretty solid quality. Wish that was an XLR to XLR, but that's okay. It also comes with a windscreen, really nice windscreen, pretty much perfectly fitted and crafted for this microphone. And we'll put that on in just a minute so you can see and not really see, but you can see it on and hear what it sounds like. It does also have an on off switch, which is always nice. That whole package will run you about 125. And let's just start talking about it, man. This thing is like, it's really beefy. Like it feels excellent in my hand. Like I don't have to squeeze like most handheld dynamics. You kind of got to get them give them a little squeeze, so to speak. This one don't really have to do that. It just really fits in there. This is one of the better feels for a handheld dynamic microphone that I felt in a while. It just feels really good in the hand. That's what she freaking said. I really like the build too. I like the Ceramonic logo on it. I like the gold trim. I just think it's a really attractive mic. I, I've never heard anyone ask about it or say anything about it, but I see it on their website because the guys at Ceramonic and gals at Ceramonic, they're so cool to me that they're like, take a look at the webpage, see anything you want to get in for the studio, for the channel, do it. Again, I got to reiterate, man, human connection is what it's all about. And those folks freaking rock at human connection. They are great. So I will keep doing anything they want me to do with a honest opinion, but I'll do it because they're absolutely wonderful to work with. And I appreciate the hell out of them 
Let's do some tests on this microphone. Handling noise first. Again, built like a tank, but I do hear a little bit coming through when I when I touch the mic. So we'll, we'll see what happens when I throw it back and forth in my hands. Here we go. Not too bad uh, as far as like the level meters go. I've definitely had worse handling noise from just as expensive microphones. So that was okay. Nothing great. Not going to like bump it up on the BB SAR because of the handling noise. We're just going to stay kind of neutral on it because it was just fine. It was fine. Well, let's do some plosives. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Not great, but not bad. Uh, that was a little better. Then some of the SE Electronics mics I've done in this same shirt, whether they release before or after this, who the hell knows, but the plosive rejection was not bad at all. Now let's get right on top of the SRMV58 to hear what that proximity effect sounds like when you're right on top of the mic. And this is what that sounds like when you're really close to it. And it doesn't get boomy, still clear, just add some depth to it. I like that. I like it. All right, let's go off axis rejection. This is a cardioid microphone, so probably not going to be anything crazy, but should still be good. Talking into the front of the microphone. Now we're going to go 90 degrees off axis rejection. That's better than I thought it was. 180 degrees off axis rejection. 90 degrees off axis rejection, and then slowly back around to the front of the microphone. Let's start sharing some thoughts. Okay. For the folks that want that clear, non-V-shaped, non-broadcasty, just straightforward, you know, mid, mid a plenty and top end kind of nice, kind of smooth, not grainy, not too grainy. All dynamics have just a slight grain almost, in my opinion, except for maybe the SM7B, which is probably part of the appeal there. But this is a nice, smooth, mid-forward sound that just works. It's not completely devoid of low end. It's got almost like the perfect touch of low end. If you don't like that broadcast EV shape sound, this might be a contender for you. That You might actually really enjoy this microphone if, if that's what you're into. And I got to say, I've got this thing where I love the V-shape broadcast -y sound, but at other times, I like this sound just as much. And this sound has that. It has that clear and present, you know, mid-forward thing going for it. And I think it sounds quite good. I was actually uh, not, I'm never sure about a mic that's a handheld that's over $100 because there's so many good ones at $100, even $50, $50 to $100. There's so many good ones. But I actually quite like this one quite a bit. But again, I freaking like a lot of microphones and a lot of mics that are coming in lately have just been really, really solid. And this one here is no different in my opinion. Love the way it feels in my hand. It's just so robust. This is a big man's hand microphone. That's what this is. You got the galaxy audio ergonomic thing, which is just the biggest of the big, but this is, this is big. This is good. This feels powerful in my hand. This feels like you know, like I'm a degenerate and it's a pack of quarters and I'm going to just punch someone in the fizz ace, which I would never do because violence solves nothing. But on the BB SAR, the Saramonic SR MV58, I wish that MV58 part wasn't in there. could have named it the MV1 or the MV12. What about 12? Why didn't one use 12 in microphone names? Like, give me a 12. That just sounds like a, just sounds like something like, dude, you try that new you know, XX 12. Yeah, that'd be cool. Anyways, 125 bucks, ceremonic build quality tank, like sound very good for podcasting. Very good for YouTube. This is nice. This is nicer than I expected it to be. And for $125. Now I'm going to go a little bit low here. It's going to get a seven, which is good and definitely worth buying. If it was $99 or less, the score would be higher, but it is 125. That is pushing it just a little. And we do have, which I'm looking at my mic shelf, one of them, you know, the Dynacaster DCM3, DCM6. The DCM6 is 150. The DCM3 is 99. For this to be 125, I think you got to perform on a stage to make the money worth it. Cause I think it'll sound great if you're gigging 
gigging around town, giggity, giggity with this microphone. I think this is a killer vocal mic for live performances. I assume, I guess I'm live right now, but I think it sounds really good. Let's throw the windscreen on seven. Good. Definitely worth buying. Let's see what this does, because this does look handcrafted for this mic. And we'll just take it out with this microphone. A lot of that top end sizzle just kind of faded away. And that see, that's the thing. I think that more handheld microphones should come with a windscreen, especially that's fitted as well as this is fitted because this is like, this is fitted about as good as it gets this windscreen, make no mistake. It was made for this. Although it's got a little bit of an oblong head. It's not just round. It's a little bit, you know, you know, you know what I'm getting at with the shape of this head. I really like that, man. The windscreen, it's one of those nice, like loose, not super, super squishy, super foamy. This is more like, you know, pool filtery. It's got that texture to it and it just works. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. It's a solid windscreen. And I think the mic sounds better with the windscreen on than it does off. It smooths everything out, but still clear, present, mid forward. Good job on this one, Saramonic. Who knew? Who knew about this one? The SRMV58. That's what we're here for. I think I might release this video first out of the freaking dozen videos I'm recording in a Milwaukee Buck shirt and drinking a Milwaukee light. No, just kidding. It's an IPA. Anyways. Yeah, I'm, I'm crunchy. I like my IPAs with my pinky out. All right. MV58 SR, SR-MV58. <laughs> It's out of here. Bark's out of here. Thank you guys for watching yet again. And remember the giveaway for the ceremonic mics that are coming up. See, that's how good they are to me. They want to give you some free stuff. Obscure mics. Peace out.